It is the third day of a major Israeli offensive in the occupied West Bank. The army has said it's killed three Hamas militants today in a strike near the city of Jenin. Now, such airstrikes, while almost daily over Gaza, are rare in the West Bank. Israel says its focus is Hamas and other militant groups. Palestinians, though, insist civilians have been killed. Well, let's speak now to the journalist Sophie Nivelle Cardinal. She's in the Palestinian refugee camp of Nur Shams today. That's in Tulkarem, one of the cities that the Israeli army has been raiding during the course of this operation. Sophie, good to get you on the line this afternoon. Just tell us what it is that you've witnessed in Nur Shams over the past few days and what the mood is among Palestinians there. Well, listen, the Israeli army literally besieged the camp, you know, the camp for two days. The operation started in the night um, of Tuesday, uh, a little bit after midnight. And then last night, around 11 o'clock, uh, we learned that the military had left the camp. And that, that moment, it was literally a frenzy of people rushing back to the camps or coming out from the house where they had been locked up for two days. Um, everyone it was by car, by foot, um, in, the, in the night. And of course, there's lots of destroyed house, but right away people started cleaning up the houses. Also, businesses, this time Palestinians were working the street, the main street, so that, um, you know, today now cars can drive again in the street. They're still very active uh, in the camps this morning, um, just to make the life in the camp again livable. Now this morning it was also time to pay tribute. Here there's been um, one man, an old man, that's been killed when by a sniper, an Israeli sniper, when he came out of his house in Norshab's camp. But the big uh, loss for the camp here um, is the um, the death of uh, Mohammed Jabbar. Um, of his nom de guerre is Abu Shuta, who was killed the night before. Um, by special forces in actually uh, along with four other militants. Now, this morning there was a funeral to pay tribute to Abu Shuda, but there was no corpse. The Israeli military did not give back the corpse, but the camps did, the people in the camp did pay tribute to uh, the commander of the Islamic Jihad uh, that was killed uh, the day before by the Israeli forces. And Sophie, I know this is a story you've been covering over the past few days. You've spent a bit of time in Nur Shams. Do you get a sense that the Israeli operation is coming to an end now or are Palestinians still in the middle of this? Listen, here in Nur Shams, in Turkey city, um, there's no more Israeli military. So um, it feels for the people here that life can start again. But of course, we're talking about a few uh, kilometers squares, a few blocks. So it's hard to say uh, if the operation is over. Yesterday, the rumor was running that it would last for days. So I think one of the scare, one of the fear for the people here is that it would go on like in Gaza, you know. So, but right now, people are relieved. They're going back to their houses. They are cleaning up the camp. So, right now, in Nur Shams camp, at least, there's a few hours of relief. And I just want to ask you one final question, Sophie. You mentioned Gaza, and there are some Palestinians who fear now that the tactics of the Israeli army in places like where you are in Tulkarem might mirror what the Israeli army is doing in Gaza. Is that a fear you've heard from Palestinians? Well, the fear here is that, um, you know, on Wednesday when it was... Uh, at uh, the start of the operation here, the army uh, order asked the people to evacuate the camp. And for many of the people here, that means to leave and maybe never be able to come back. And that's something people don't want to see happen. They are very adamant that they don't want to leave, that it's not going to be another Nakba. So I think the fear is there. Now, it's difficult to know exactly what the, to be honest, it's difficult to know what the um, Israeli objective is the military objective. Now, um, it seems that it's 
there is a show of force to say that they're able to intervene in Gaza for the last 10 months and 11 months soon, and also last Sunday against the Hezbollah, and now all over the occupied West Bank. And that is something that uh, we'll have to see uh, in the next few days, how um, you also have the uh, Iranian uh, a response that everyone is waiting for. So um, there are we in the middle of things. And yes, of course, for Palestinians here, there's a lot of fear that Israel would do the same thing, that the Israeli army would do the same thing here in the camps uh, than they're doing in Gaza.